Okay, this is a very quick video on how to make a 251. I'm just doing this on my phone. So select the session band that you'd like to use. Whoops. Here we go. Uh, go to here. Uh, select the uh, any genre. It doesn't really matter because you can change it. Create new. Go yes. Nah. Hard to do when I'm holding my phone. Um, and then what you want to do is go into the edit mode touch this until you see the grey square. Now at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into C because otherwise the computer will start to want to um, transpose and I'm going to touch this again so I've got that grey square and just shrink it down just by shrinking like this and then I'm going to change this to uh, D by using these up and down Right, and I'm going to make that D and then touch that and drag this to minus seven. Now I'm going to touch the end here and you'll get that blue bar up. That means I can make another, another um, chord and I'm going to hit G. I'm going to shrink it down and it's still got that X in so I can change it and I'm going to change this to dominant seventh. which is that one there, that's G7, and then I'm going to touch this again, and I'm going to go C, and that's come up as C7, so I want to change this to C major 7, and, uh, and then I'm done, so I can I just touch this, get out of there, I'm going to go into here, I'm going to mute off the tenor saxophone that the metronome is already muted. Touch that again and test my work. That's that. Now I can save that by going into here and pressing save. Linden, how to make a 251. And uh, and then I can go into here and I can put this into E flat or B flat for my tenor or alto. And if I want to make it like a two five one in C again, I just change this down until it comes to D minor seven G seven, and then I can practice a two five one on my alto. So that's how to make a two five one on session band.